The Border Terrier originates from the border area of England and Scotland. It is one of the most popular hunting terriers in Britain. It is also considered to be easy to train and child friendly. History and Origin of the Border Terrier Border Terriers were previously used in England and Scotland to drive foxes out of their burrows and to hunt rats. In the vast mountainous regions and heathlands of today's Northumberland National Park, they were also used as robust running dogs. Their exact origin is unclear. However, dogs resembling today's Border Terrier have been found depicted in many late 18th century paintings. The breeding of Border Terriers only began at the beginning of the 20th century and the FCI only officially recognized the dog breed in 1963. Appearance of the Border Terrier The FCI does not specify any particular shoulder height for Border Terriers. However, it is essential that the height at the withers, which is usually between 28 and 40 cm for males and females, should be appropriate to the dog's weight, which is usually between 5 to 7 kilos. A Border Terrier's body is narrowly proportioned and relatively long. Their life expectancy is 12 to 15 years. Border Terrier's coats are dense and wiry with a close-fitting undercoat. This makes them robust and resistant and they can even cope well with bad weather. Their coat colors may be solid red, gray-black or blue-gray mottled with red-brown as well as wheat colors. The dog's ears are small, V-shaped and pendulous. They hang down on the cheek. Nature and Character of the Border Terrier Like all terriers, Border Terriers are lively, robust and courageous and have a unique character. Also, they have an innate hunting instinct. Although the dogs are quite primitive, they are suitable as family dogs due to their friendly and uncomplicated nature. However, they should be trained in a consistent way by experienced dog owners. Exercise and care of the Border Terrier Owners who don't like going for walks should not get a Border Terrier. The dogs must be able to run and walk in parks or the countryside as much as possible. They should also be mentally and physically challenged through dog sports such as agility courses. With the appropriate training, Border Terriers are happy to run alongside horses. But if they live in a city apartment, they must be given plenty of exercise. Border Terriers are quite a robust breed. However, the dogs can be affected by hip dysplasia, cataracts, heart problems and the hereditary canine epileptoid cramping syndrome. Border Terriers' coats should be regularly plucked into shape using the fingers, but a professional haircut every three months is recommended. <laughs>